Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining Empowerment Network again. Of course, this evening, I'm very, very excited. Thank you guys for joining in. Thank you for the chat already warming up the space. And of course, this evening, my sister Julia and myself, we're here to join you, discuss the topic, trust and commitment, and especially what does that mean to us this season of silence? Welcome, sis. Hello, Sister Comfort. Hello, everyone. I'm always excited to join you because you are empowerment. You are always excited. So I'm always fire up when I'm joining you, Comfort. No, Thank same you for having me. Thank you to sis. I think we're a team. Nobody can do this by themselves. On passive as an elephant. And so we join as a team to pull it down. So uh, yeah, I would let you go first because it was your idea anyway. Trust and commitment. What's in your yes. mind? Yes, I love it. Thank you so much um, for, for letting me go on with this topic. It's because I, I think when we are doing things together, we need to have that trust, you yeah. know, really coming back. And then you also, when I suggested the topic, you you said, can we add loyalty into it? And I said, absolutely. It's just perfect. Sis, we really coming back to years ago in 2007 to 18, when all of us listening to that video, that mm -hmm. audio is from Mr. Ash Mofara, I think trust to me, it is start from building. It's, it, 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 it takes time to build. And you can't really build anything if you don't have that connection. And I believe, and I think that the audio that was came out in 2018, really the first connection for all of us to be connecting to, to, to each other. Mr. Mufara released two audios about what he's saying, the path that he's sharing, the things that he has done in his life. Really, it's connecting to all of us the people at that time that heard that message. And when we are connecting to each, to each other, we start building trust in each other. We start seeing that, you know, there is a connection between ourselves, you know, the listener and Mr. Ashmofar at, at that time. If all of us come back to those video and listening to those of you, I mean, just remember the time when we first listening to that video, we feel so connected because Mr. Ash Mufara has walked the steps that many of us has been walking. And that's one of the reason why he created Unpassive. What do you make of that, sis? Yeah, I know, you know, uh, so much can be said just about trust, you know, like you rightly said, we, as we started building this trust from the very moment we heard the video, especially the 2018ers, those who heard just that voice and said, this voice sounds different. There's something coming of this voice that I've not heard before. There are people who have been online for ages, but then this is just a sound of a voice. It is penetrating deep down. There's something to hold on to here. That is trust. And I believe that that is what everybody is holding on to onto that voice and not even onto what we have seen since because we have been on all connect that is the product of that 2018 audio we have been through stages we have seen a bit of all net all mail all all of those things here people have even touched money from unpassive but then what is keeping us especially this season of wait this season of silence this season of what is happening this season of what does the future hold for us what is making people still like burning on fire is that video, that trust that they established. It was a solid foundation. They're like, hold on to it. And one thing Mr. Mufare does, he comes back every now and then and said, I lied. I, I, I said this, but then it didn't happen. But then this is why it did not happen. Secondly, he says, I, 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 we, we, we made a mistake. You know, this is solid, solidifies the, 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 the relationship because people don't make mistakes and come back to you and say, I have made a mistake. Excuse me, wait, hold on, let me go back and fix it. People that make mistakes and they disappear into thin air, right? So if somebody makes a mistake, no matter how much you are hurting, they come back, look at you in the eyes and say, listen, I have made a mistake. I misplaced something somewhere. I misplaced someone somewhere. I have to readjust, I have to go back to the drawing board, I have to do the sort analysis and come back to you again, even stronger. The trust is there and it continues and it's burning on and on and on and on, sis. I hope that I'm in line with you here. 
Oh, absolutely, sis. Um, and, and that trust, it wouldn't happen if we didn't have that connection from the very beginning, right? And and because of that connection, you said the voice, and I also said the vision, the sharing, the feelings that he is sharing in those video, connecting with how we feel. And throughout the time when we are talking about having webinars, that is when the trust between we, the people, and Mr. Ash Mufara and the company are building that trust together. And that trusting relationship is so transparent and with full of integrity, we feel very secure between two parties, Mr. Ash, the company, and we, the people, the, the early birds, right? We feel so secure in that relationship. And as time going on, some of us, many of us, taking that connection and that trust relationship that we built with Mr. Ash Mufara and he built throughout with us, and we went and take that and share to other people around the world. When it comes to connection, when it comes to trust, and it also have love into it. If you didn't have that connection, if we didn't have that trust and we didn't have that love that we built for each other, we would not be able to go tell our friends, our family, go do webinars to share that with each other. So I believe personally, professionally, trust is a foundation. Trust is a foundation of all relationship. And as we are going, we foster that relationship throughout communications, our emotional, sometimes we come on with each other, we share how we felt, we shed tears with each other, and how we see each other acting on the video when we have with each other, we allow each other, ourselves, become so vulnerable to each other. Because let, let's ask you, your question, you're holding an empowerment network. How many people have come to your show? And for myself, when I had Julie and Milo back then, and now my heart to heart conversation, how many of us have been displays our vulnerability out in front of other people, right? Our emotion to all the people, because we trust each other. We have that safe and secure environment. And we have the absolutely confident in each other's ability and integrity. And also we become reliability, you know, on each other and on each other knowledge and feeling as well. So to me, trust is a foundation for everything, no matter the re personal relationship or professional relationship. Sis, what do you make of that? Exactly. You know, like you said, when this trust found itself, started layering it up, you know, the meetings, like you said, the webinars, there's so much bonding that has taken, uh, taken place there. Between us, you and Mr. Mufara, me and Mr. Mufara, you and myself, you and Michael Williams, me and Michael Williams, all of us. I think it looks like the, 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 the structure behind you, the, the, the cubes there, whatever you have on your background. That's yeah. what's happening in this relationship. That is why... People who are still here now, I don't look at, well, we still look back. It's difficult not to look back. But then talking about in the now, there are people who are so mad on fire as if they are making millions out of unfacit because of this trust and the bonding that has come as a result of it. We are kind of unbreakable. Everybody who is seeing what Mr. Mufare is seeing lying beyond the tunnel, they can't detach. We are like held on together, you know, and it's it's difficult. That is why everybody has committed. Everybody knows that when you trust somebody, know that that person is human. They can make a mistake. Sometimes they can fail. Sometimes they can come back, go and start again afresh. Sometimes they can go, go left, go right, and then come back again on the right path. All of those things put together because the first impression already counted. His first impression, that video, then the relationships, he sits here and jokes, jokes with us, cracks jokes, and laughs around and says crazy, no, naughty stuff. You can tell you get a, you, you, you silly, you naughty, you and stuff like that. That is a CEO of an international company of a, a, of a, of a highest magnitude. But then that relationship has made us forget, you know, that oh, it was a business. It was rather a family, and that is what is keeping us going. Everybody has made a commitment. 
no matter how long it takes, no matter how many branches we take on the way, no matter how many twists, I am holding on to him because he has not changed. Whatever he has ever promised that I am going to do, he has never changed. One of the things that people trust and they are committed to this movement right now until further and further till thy kingdom come is the fact that he himself, he is so humble that he, he doesn't take honor, he doesn't take credit of what he does. He makes you understand that me, I am only a servant of God. I am only an instrument of change because in Ms. Amophora's eyes, there is enough wealth in this world to take care of every human being. They are not saying that everybody should be a millionaire. They are just saying that basically everybody should be able to provide three square meals for themselves every day, to be under a roof, children to have shoes on their feet. Mr. Mufara thinks that there is enough in this world to cater for that. And that is where he is heading to. Who said you could just walk straight and get there? People would have done that. People would have done that long before now. I'm not, good I'm not a good historian. Maybe somebody ever did and Ash is repeating history. Fine. But then if somebody has ever done that, then Ash would be taking it to the next level. Because if mankind could think like this and promise this, and you see him working hard to get it done. The trust remains. You're committed to standing strongly, firmly by him. And you see people flying uh, um, posts here and there on social media. I stand with Mr. Mufara. Why? Because he's depriving himself of the comfort of his family. He is depriving himself of the comfort of a dad and a husband and a brother and a son because he needs to be here 24 hours round the clock. Sometimes I'm, I imagine even an octopus, I feel that sometimes it can get tired no matter how many uh, uh, tentacles they have. But then he does it, still brings a smile. Who doesn't trust has an issue. Who is not committed to the mission is not ready for prime time, is not ready for this journey because they don't get it. That is how I look at it, sis. Absolutely, sis. And then you also see that Throughout the entire journey, there that relationship that we built, that connection that we built together, it's getting stronger, stronger, and stronger. But yet along the way, we do have some lose end. We have some people that kind of dropping off because they cannot build that trust, right? They didn't see that connection. They didn't see the whole entire picture. Therefore, they start dropping off. And it's okay because they didn't have that connection. They didn't have that trust from the very beginning. And as our you know, relationship is going, business and professional, we can see that our trust foundation, it's building stronger and stronger. And then it became a commitment you know, when challenges come, when you trust somebody somebody explicitly and you have seen things that is going on, you've seen the challenges and you see the changes that going through, right? But they're still there. They still get your back. They still have it. They commit it to you. And that is why we can see that commitment from our CEO to the humanity, to the early birds, to the people, and from the people to Mr. Ash Mufara and the company, you can see that relationship is growing and is growing. As you said, we dedicated to each other. We dedicated our time. We dedicated our talent. Mr. Ash Mufara dedicated his time his, his talent, his wisdom to all of us. And through that dedication, through that changes or that ch challenge that we see, we are still together. We are coming together and committed our time. And that's the reason why all the lives, all the um, webinars, it's still going on. It still keep going because we are here to maintain that trusting relationship to each other and to Mr. Mufara and to the company. Let's just say, what if when challenges come and Mr. Ash Mufara said, guys, I've done my work. I've gave you so much in the last year. I got to go. There's no commitment. What if on our end, we said, Mr. Mufara on passive, We've been here every step of the way, but we haven't seen anything. Bye-bye. There's no commitment. 
Or we either said bye-bye or we go and say, oh, this and that happened, should have happened. We made some terrible comment, you know, out there. There is no commitment in that. Commitment to me, I see, is you have to dedicate all and all that you have. And that's exactly what I am and yourself and so many people are doing. No matter what, we are still here. Some people are behind the scene still keep up the positive vibe still here but there are some people step out of their way coming on and start continue talking about the good and on passive and that's a commitment and not only that we all are maintaining this relationship and we feel that this relationship is very stable relationship you know and that's how i see the commitment in on passive is so solid for all and every one of us who are here who still continue to talk about it it is so solid through all the challenges and the changes so that's how i see it the commitment yeah. between us and mr mufara and mr mufara to us as well that's so true. You know, you talked earlier on and you mentioned uh, those who are falling off, right? It is okay to fall off. They are falling off because it's just natural. They were not meant to be here. If you ever, if you've ever had the opportunity to scale fish, those are scales, the scales. Like when you're cleaning the fish, the scales have to go off before you can get good fish to prepare and eat, right? So they are not meant to be here. It's all right to go, you know? Because those are the, the, the you know, those, that is the rubbish that you carry on. You just need the fish, but then the scales are too packed on it and it's so heavy, you can't move on. Take them off the way. I come from Africa. When you go to the miller, you grind your cornmeal, you take it back to my grandmom, she will sieve it. When you sieve it, you have the chaffs, and then these ones, again, you put it on a tray and blow it. What you are blowing, the one that the wind is taking away, those are the ones that you actually don't need at all. Those ones need to go for you to have good food, for you to have good fufu corn. That is how it works. It's not different in non-passive. So I don't have one iota of energy to waste on such people. But then I depend on you because the, even, even in real life from my 2020 that I joined on passive till now, there are people in non-passive that if I have a serious issue, I'd rather go up to them than go maybe to some close families or to some other kind of people because that is how much we have been together. That is how far we've gone, how long, how far we've gone with this relationship. This is something that we're never looking back. This is our new family because we are living like this together till, we, till death do us part, you know, especially if you are seeing what Mr. Mofara is seeing. So if you are seeing it, there's no need to go for a walk. So let me just go and wait and see if that thing is going to work. It's working because I'm, as far as I'm concerned, it's a bride. It's just sitting somewhere and it's going, or going like my village, go, undergoing a fattening cause. The day they bring the bride out, out and unveil it, you are going to be like, oh my God, she is beautiful. That is what is waiting for us. You know, nobody has ever promised you and myself this. Why people are stuck here? Why people trust Mr. Mufara? Why this trust has spread like wildfire, like, like COVID-19, is the fact that I have not been online. I'm, I've not had businesses online. But from stories I've heard people come to this platform and other platforms and shared, nobody has met one like Mr. Mufara. You join a business today and you flourishing, and then uh, the next two days, the business stops. You think that you lost network, you lost connectivity. But then it went, it goes and never comes back. You don't see the CEO. You've never seen the CEO. The CEO never comes back to explain themselves. But then people know that especially this minute of silence that we are observing now, there's so much brewing at the background. So much brewing, so much so that you can read it on Mr. Bufara's face. Because nowadays, because of the bitter lesson he has learned, he has learned the hard way. I'm not trying to, con like, being bad against him. But then I just want to say there is nothing wrong in being kind. But when you get kind and it takes you to where we are now, he has learned the hard way. When you see Ash, you can suspect that Ash definitely has something sweet in, but he can't share it again with you and myself because the chaffs, before they are being blown away by the wind, 
they would have spoiled one thing here and there. But the truth remains. Why does Mr. Mufara keep keeps coming here at least one time a week on Wednesdays, at least once a week, to communicate with us, to let us know that, listen, I am still in the brewery. Things are still brewing. The moment it comes out, the moment you are served, you are going to be like, oh, my God. You will be happy. Things will be different. And that thing that your heart has always wanted you to do for yourself, for your family, for your community, for people far away, you are definitely going to do it. That is why anybody who is seeing this, 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 uh, this vision, everybody who is still seeing what Mr. Mufare is seeing, everybody who is still trusting and hanging on to it, they are trusting and still committing because they know and they are getting ready because they know that it is being done. And the moment it's ready, the world will know it. You and myself will know it. People who have doubted us, people who abandoned us and left, they will definitely know just by looking at us, they can tell that that thing is here. That's how I look at it, sis. Absolutely, sis. It's kind of crazy that, you know, trust and commitment, it doesn't start at one point and it ends at one point. It's a, it's a continuous process right so if you don't if you, if you didn't see the connection or the vision six years ago you still can see it today you still can see that connection today and you can still continue to build that trust from today right and then trust commitment then it comes to another level we'll call it loyalty right what kind of loyalty do we have now you have to become so committed to the point that you become it. What is that supposed to, what does that mean? You know, when it comes to loyalty, you literally devoted yourself and you feel like you are so bonded together, not only on the ideal, the mechanical, it's following instructions would be another way of saying, I am trusting in this company, I am trusting and committed to this company. I am following all the rules and the coding and the regulations that is happening, that is put ahead for all of us, right? So when it comes to loyalty, like I said, you become each other, you become it, you live it and you talk it and you show it, you displace yourself. And when you do that, you feel that there is a sense of security and reliability in each other. We are counting on each other to deliver things. We demonstrate to each other that I could rely on you, right? Or you could rely on me to carry out this vision. When it comes to loyalty, it is almost as if you are that person. You speak his language. You think his thought. You communicate the way he communicated, not only on the intelligent level, but on the heart itself. Because no matter what you, how much you know, and you don't have the heart to connect it all together, it's still rubbish right? So loyalty to, for me is you become it. You become who you are loyal to. And let me say this a little bit funny way, but if, if anyone listening to this conversation that we talk to us, and if you, and if you have a pet and I'm going to reference the dog, okay. If you have a pet that you so you treated this pet as if it was your own kid. And everywhere you go, to be honest, one day if you and your pet at the same place looking at the mirror, you have some resemblance of each other. You look at your pet and you look at yourself, you do have some resemblance. It is sound very funny, but it is. Because to me, pet, dog, cat, whatever, they are very loyal to you. And when you becoming that level of loyalty, you become it. That means you have that resemblance in each other. And trust me, everywhere we go, for everyone that trusted in Mr. Ash Mufara and on passive, everywhere we go, we will speak, see, we will look, and we will speak the way Mr. Ash Mufara does. But it has to come to authenticity not 
you try to be. Because when you try to be something, right, you don't look so authentic, right? But if all of us connecting together and with that vision, with that heart, we go, we speak, we talk, we carry ourselves just the way Mr. Ash Mufara or the people that we are connecting that. It sounded funny, but truly, if you look at your pet at home, look at both of you in the mirror, you do have the res resemblance of each other because you are so loved and protected your pet and your pet, your dog is so loyalty, loyal to you. And I guarantee you, if you do that, you would probably think about what I'm talking about today. Sis, send it back. You, to you know, yeah, you know, I, I've been giggling the whole time you were talking about this resemblance because sometimes when I'm walking with my children, I'm just like, his dog looks somehow his dog looks like him. And then I feel that I'm being mean. But then you're just saying it, I'm just like, yes. But then I think it's a loyalty thing. I've seen that's the hidden thing behind it that resemblance that's so true and you know I, I just want to add my voice to when talking about loyalty here it's a whole package when you when you pledge your loyalty to somebody to some movement to some community to some to somebody to some business you will know that it can go wrong sometimes it can go right can go left it can go right and stuff like that you know how sometimes like people are loyal to some particular uh, um, brand that sometimes maybe even they go bankrupt. They say, I have been working with these people like for ages. I'm not going. They've cut the salaries and stuff. If I go out there, I'll get a better salary. But then I am committed. I just still want to stay. We have not gone bankrupt. Some, so many other things can happen. There could be a natural disaster or some other kind of thing. So many, many, many things can happen. Loyalty doesn't only mean that it's sugar leaking all the time. No, we still ha we have to go through everything together. So that is what is happening now. That is why people are still here chatting in the comment section while we are talking because we love this moment of silence. This moment of silence, as silent as it is, but it's the loudest we've ever had. It's the loudest of the seasons we've ever had because so much is happening. So much that, you know, I don't envy Ash at all because you can see that there's sweetness written over him, but he can't share it again as usual. However, he's managing that. Only God knows, you know, but they will still trust that whatever is there, we are waiting. I will see the end of it because I want to tell the story from the 20th of June, 2020, to thy kingdom come to the last minute I'm taking my breath because Unpassive is here to stay and I remain loyal to it. I remain committed to supporting Mr. Mavara in any way I can. I know I wish I could like do move the mountains with him, but I can sit here and talk to people. I can go anywhere and beat my chest that, yes, I am still it following that thing called Unpassive because some people think that we are maniacs. You still talk about unpassive there's definitely something wrong with you i say yes if there were not something wrong with me i would not be following mr mufara i'm following him because there's something wrong with me something that would change my life change the life of my family change the life of my neighbors my entire community and stretch my arms so wide that i will reach the ends of the earth and just do good things to people you know that 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 it close your eyes and imagine that scenario where you live from here and go somewhere far away. You don't know. You've never been in that country. You go down the hinterlands. You just move a family from this hut and move them into a modern, beautiful building with solar system over it and everything and hand them the key. At the moment they are celebrating and say, who are you? You say, I am gone. I am just showing you love. It's yours. I'm not selling it to you. It's all yours. I am gone. Do you know what that means? That is the only thing you want to do. When you say, Mr. here, Mr. Mufare says, you cannot change the whole world, but you can change one person's world. That is what is happening. Yeah. My sister Fumi and myself, she is Nigerian. I am from Cameroon. We are Africans. We became blood sisters because of unpassive. We are planning to visit somewhere in, I wish you were here to remind me the name, somewhere in, in, in Asia where they, they have a, a, they deliver children in a box. 
So the I, believe was, I believe it was Korea when she talked about exactly. it. Exactly. We are so passionate. We can't wait to go there. We can't just wait for this moment. You know, we we'll, we'll walk through the door. They'll the, be like, who are these people? Yeah, we're coming here because it's our business. We care about these young girls. We care about the families that are, have dedicated all of their time taking care of these babies with unknown parents or trying to encourage the young girls, the young ladies to come. We will support you. Take this baby and we will support you. Why not be part of it? Let them give them reason to change. There's so much things that people are planning to do. Somebody came here and said something that I have never thought of. I never knew it existed, but I saw it so clear. She said, I've forgotten who that was. She said she would dedicate part of her free time just going around talking to people because there are some people who don't need anything at all. They just need someone to talk to. I feel like weeping now because I have a mouth that I run every time. I have children, I have family, I have friends. I talk every minute. Somebody just needs someone to talk to them. They don't have it. That is so much good that all that person needs. You have changed their world. You have turned things around for them. That is what is keeping us here. That is where the trust in Mr. Mufara is coming. That is why the commitment to stand there for him. And that is why the loyalty, because we know, we know that it is a done deal, sis. So I think we should gradually be rounding up Anything you say now, call to action, uh, encouragement, Absolutely. whatever thing. Go on, please. Absolutely. Um, you know what, sis? I, I, I look back the whole entire uh, journey and I see because of I connected with Mr. Mufara. I trusted him. I committed to him. Now I became so loyalty to him. I feel that is the integral part building of my entire business, you know, professional or, or, or relationship or entire life. It's integral part of it. And because of that relationship, I could have an open communication with him and he can have an, um, uh, an open communication with me as well. And we feel that, that we do have a mutual respect for each other. And so for everyone who are continue this journey. And if you feel that you have that trust, that commitment, that loyalty to Mr. Mufara and on passive as a whole, I'm going to give you a little test for yourself. The next time when Mr. Ash Mufara coming on and he speak, watch yourself to see if you can guess his next words or the next things that he can do. The reason why I say that, because I have been trying to follow this and connecting the dots of what he is doing, right? So if you want to know what is going to happen, you want to watch what he is saying, you connecting that dot, and you could almost guess what is the next action. You know why? Because I believe that I could connecting the dots, the dot, and guess what is next coming because I have completely trust in his decision, right? His vision, and I am committed to on passive vision and the mission of what on passive is carrying. And I am stay completely and loyalty to not only, only to Mr. Mufara, but to the on passive movement as well. So if you literally embody yourself into this vision and you live it and you speak it, I guarantee you, you watch yourself, you would be able to do that. You would be able to, to connect the dot and almost, not speculating, but you can almost calculate the next steps because you are so in trust of his decision. And when you are in that space in your life, you really know what his decision is going to be next. And I'm saying that, but it doesn't mean for you to speculate and go talk about it. Because if I am in that position, if I am there, I will not talk about it because it is not my place to speculate. I am not running the company. It's not my vision. I am living up to the men that know best, that love us so much, that committed to us completely and always stay loyal to his movement, to his vision. And that individual is Mr. Ash Mufara. But if you become, you get yourself into the conversation and if you become him, 
I'm talking about thought, heart, you will see the next move, right? But keep it to yourself. And I am keeping it to myself. And Comfort will keep it to herself because she knows also, right? She, she, all of us, many of us, the people that stay so loyal to Mr. Mufara be able to do that. But because of the respect, because of the entire global business, we leave it up to the men that know best, that knows best, that have full talent and wisdom to do it. We leave it up to him and we just sit and observe. And that's what we do. And that's what makes on passive is the best place to be. And that's what make the O Founders um, community, it's the best community ever happen in this world. Thank you, my sister, for having me here. I appreciate you so much. Sis. I'm just reading a testimony. I appreciate all the comments. I wish I could read through all. I'm so bad at that. But then Nuno Santos says, I had a funny episode these days. I told two friends about Unpassive, and they were really impressed. They basically ignored the issue. I was shocked at first. But then I thought, of course, they don't. You know. So that is what Unpassive is. Who sees it does not need to touch anything. You just need to get the feeling and you know that there's something about this. I don't need to see it before believing. That is unpassive. And guys, we don't want to, I don't want to start the show afresh. Because me and my sister, we can stay here 24 hours round the clock. We will keep talking. So what we just want to go, you talked about speculations. I want to touch on that too because it's very important. As far as I am concerned, I'm not spec we like what she is saying. We are not like I, I think that in the next couple of data that something no. What we know is that on passive is imminent, the future is bright. When Mr. Mufare is ready, he will call a meeting, sit here, and tell us that listen, here is it, take it and have it. I don't do deadlines. I don't do uh, uh, like go knock doors and ask, what do you think? What do you think? And stuff like that. Please don't ask me because I know just what you know. I am not Mr. Mufara. Julie is not Mr. Mufara. Collins Mana is not Mr. Mufara. Marty Degamo is not Mr. Mufara. Can go on and on and on. We know all what, just what everybody else knows apart from what Ash does. But then what we know is one thing on passive is real. Unpassive is here. It's just a matter of when and not if, because nothing has changed. Sometimes we think that uh, maybe things have delayed or so. Are you God? No, because Ash himself is only an instrument that God is using to bring this change to bless mankind. God planned it that it will go the way it is now. Me, you, and Ash, we thought that we could go faster. God said, no, that is not how you deliver this kind of a message. You take time. Because you have to lose the scales, you have to lose the chaps, you have to lose the dried leaves and go just with the trunk and the roots that are tapped right into the ground because the journey is long and the mission is massive. We are here. Listen, let's not start the show, but then let's go on. Keep on keeping on. We appreciate everybody who is committed, who is trusting the system, trusting Mr. Mufara and his team and even his family and, of course, loyalty. It, it crowns it all. Let's keep on keeping on. The future is bright because the future is on passive. We love you guys. Thank you so much and see you again soon. Bye, guys.